Pancakes, my nephew's favorite. As I mixed the batter, I heard birds chirping and cars driving by outside. It was peaceful. When the pancakes were sizzling on the griddle, my nephew walked in, rubbing his eyes with a smile. What's for breakfast? He asked, clearly excited. When I told him we were having pancakes, his face lit up. We laughed together as I flipped the pancakes and the sweet smell filled the air. Just as I served the first stack, he suddenly said, let's go on an adventure today. I raised an eyebrow, curious about what he meant. We often went on little outings, but this felt different. He talked about exploring the nearby park and looking for hidden treasures. I felt a thrill at the idea. After breakfast, we grabbed some snacks and headed out. The sun was shining even brighter now, and I felt energized. We wandered through the park, searching for anything interesting. We found unusual rocks, pretty flowers, and even a few bugs. My nephew's excitement made the day even more fun. By the time we got home, I was tired but happy. I never expected such a simple morning to turn into a memorable adventure. I realized I hadn't just made pancakes, I had created a special day with my nephew. Looking back, I knew I would cherish this day for a long time. I had this feeling that today was going to be a great day. As I gathered the ingredients, I could smell the fresh air coming in through the window. I started with some eggs and bacon, knowing that it was going to taste amazing. The sound of the sizzling bacon made me smile. While I cooked, I thought about how nice it was to have some quiet time in the morning before the day got busy. It was my little moment of peace. I was almost done cooking when I realized I forgot something important. Hot dogs. How could I forget? Hot dogs were my nephew's favorite, and he would always ask for them whenever we had breakfast together. It's like he couldn't have a meal without them. I felt a bit of panic because I knew how much he looked forward to having them. I could already imagine my nephew's face lighting up when he saw them on the table. He had this funny thing about hot dogs. It didn't matter what else was on his plate as long as they were hot dogs. I wasn't sure why he loved them so much, but I didn't want to disappoint him. I knew I had to get them ready before he woke up. Oh no, where are those hot dogs? I muttered, feeling a bit stressed as I realized that Stefan, my nephew, would be coming down for breakfast any minute. I searched the kitchen frantically, hoping to find them before he showed up. Stefan loves hot dogs more than anything, and I didn't want to disappoint him. The thought of him asking for his favorite breakfast made me move even faster. Just as I was about to give up, I heard a calm voice behind me. What's got you all worked up, Angel? It startled me for a second, and I turned to see Stefan standing there, not my mom. His smile was so relaxed, and it almost made me forget my panic. He was clearly curious about why I was so stressed. Oh, well, I stammered, feeling embarrassed. Please don't be upset, Stefan. But I... I forgot to cook your favorite hot dogs. My voice trailed off, and I felt a wave of guilt wash over me. I was so sure he would be disappointed, but I had to admit my mistake. It was so strange that morning because it was the first time I ever saw Stefan smiling like that. Usually my nephew had a gloomy face and barely spoke to anyone except for me. His smile caught me off guard, making the moment feel unusual but kind of nice. It was like seeing a whole different side of him, one I didn't expect. Are you sure you're okay with no hot dogs? I asked, still worried. You like hot dogs, right? I felt like I'd let him down, but I needed to know if he was really fine with it. Stefan usually made it clear when something wasn't the way he liked. Well, yes I do, Stefan said, his voice calm. But you forgot to make them. So let me ask you, do you like to eat hot dogs? His tone was curious, and he moved closer, almost too close, looking me right in the eyes. It was a strange moment, and I wasn't sure what to make of it. Ah, uh, yeah. Hot dogs are great for breakfast, I replied, feeling my heart start to race for some reason. I couldn't explain why, but there was definitely something in the air that made me feel nervous. Maybe it was the way Stefan was acting, or maybe it was just the oddness of the whole situation. But I knew something felt different. There's a hot dog I want you to try, Stefan said, as his hands moved toward his package. I was surprised by what he said, because it sounded strange, and his actions were a bit odd. But we don't have any hot dogs, I replied quickly, feeling a little nervous. I forgot to buy some at the market, I explained talking so fast that I almost stumbled over my words. He didn't seem to care that there were no actual hot dogs. 
his focus was elsewhere, and I could tell something was different about the way he was acting. That's okay, he said, still looking at me, in a way that made me feel uneasy. His hands kept playing with his package, and I didn't know what to do or say at that moment. It felt like everything had changed in the air, like a shift I wasn't ready for. I try to stay calm. Even though my heart was beating faster, maybe we can just have something else for breakfast, I suggested, hoping to move the conversation away from whatever he was thinking about. I didn't understand why he was acting this way, and it made me feel confused and anxious all at the same time. Stefan looked at me, still holding his package. It's not about the food, he said softly, but I could feel a tension in the room that hadn't been there before. It was hard to explain, but something didn't feel right. And I wasn't sure how to handle it. I just wanted things to go back to normal, but it felt like normal was slipping further away. Well, it's not the hot dog you'd expect. It's a different kind of hot dog, Stefan said. The package in his pants grew bigger and bigger. Suddenly felt like I couldn't breathe. My heart was pounding and I didn't know what to do because everything felt so strange. I stood there frozen, trying to make sense of what was happening. My mind raced with confusion. Air felt heavy. I kept thinking, this isn't real. This isn't happening. But the more I looked, the more I realized something was definitely wrong. His package kept on getting bigger to the point that I could see that his pants were already wet. I tried to step back, but my legs felt weak, like they didn't want to move. Stefan just stood there, watching me with that same strange smile on his face. I didn't know what to say or how to react. What's going on? I thought to myself. The feeling in the room kept getting weirder. I wanted to speak, to say something, but my throat felt tight and no words came out. Out of nowhere, Stefan grabbed me by my shoulders and turned me around, like he was trying to show me something important. I was surprised by what he was doing, but I didn't say anything at first. I just went along with it, trying to figure out what was going on. Hold on for a moment, he said, sounding serious. I'm going to let you taste this hot dog. His words didn't make sense to me, but I stayed still, hoping things would start to make more sense soon. Then all of a sudden his package moved. It slithered straight into my buns disappearing so quickly that I didn't know what to think. My heart raced, and I felt even more confused. Wait, this isn't right, Stefan, I said, finally finding my voice. I didn't understand what he was trying to do, or why he thought this was okay. Everything about the situation felt off, and I wanted to stop it. Things got worse. Stefan didn't seem to hear me, or maybe he just didn't care. He kept focusing on moving his package through my buns, acting like nothing strange was happening. I stood there, feeling like I was in a dream that didn't make sense. Stefan, we need to stop this, I said again, hoping that he would listen this time. But he kept going, and I felt stuck, unsure of what to do next. Just relax, Stefan said so calmly, as if everything was perfectly normal. You'll love it later on. His package was still moving back and forth, and I couldn't help but just close my eyes in pleasure. Then he suddenly withdrew his hands and wet them with his saliva. I didn't know why he did this, but like before, I stayed quiet and didn't do anything. My mind was racing, trying to figure out what was going on, but I just couldn't move or speak. Here goes. Just stay still. You're going to love it, Stefan said again, sounding so sure of himself. He put his wet hands through my dumplings, and everything felt strange. I wasn't sure if I should let him keep going, but before I could say anything, it happened. Oh no, I shouted so loudly, my voice echoing in the room. I wasn't even sure why I was shouting, it was like my body reacted on its own. I didn't know how to describe it. My mind kept telling me to stop this, to say something, to make Stefan leave the room, but the rest of me couldn't figure out what to do. I was frozen in place, torn between wanting to end it and being curious about what would happen next. But of course my bad thoughts took over my mind. I realized that he was starting to slow down, and that made me feel angry. Please don't slow down. I love it, I shouted, not fully understanding why I was feeling this way. A wave of shame washed over me. I didn't want to admit it, but at that moment I was enjoying what was happening. And I didn't want him to stop just because he thought I didn't like what he was doing. As I spoke those words, I could see the surprise on Stefan's face. It was like he didn't expect me to react this way. 
I could tell that my feelings were confusing him, but I didn't care. I just wanted him to keep going and to feel the excitement that had built up inside me. My heart raced with a mix of emotions, and it was almost hard to believe that I was feeling this way. I was still ashamed, but I couldn't help myself. I wanted more. Stefan seemed to hesitate for a moment, but then he smiled, and I could see that my words had given him confidence. He started to move again, and I felt a rush of happiness. I was caught up in this strange feeling, and it felt nice to be able to express what I wanted. I wished I could just forget the guilt and focus on the moment. I realized that sometimes feelings can be confusing, especially when you don't know what to expect next. As we continued, I found myself enjoying the experience even more. The worries and shame began to fade away, replaced by a sense of freedom. I let myself sink into the moment, allowing the happiness to take over. It was as if everything else had disappeared, and all that mattered was what was happening right then. I felt lighter, like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders, and for once, I could just enjoy being in the moment without any thoughts holding me back. You seem to enjoy it so much, Stefan said with a grin that made everything feel even more intense. His voice had a way of making the moment feel exciting, and I couldn't help but feel a rush of warmth inside. Can I show you a greater experience than this? He asked, full of curiosity. Without waiting for an answer, he picked me up in his arms and carefully let his package slide through my buns. It was like he was giving me a special adventure, and I was caught up in the excitement of it all. As he held me, I could see how much he wanted to make me feel loved. It was almost as if I was very alive. And in that moment, I felt happy to be cared for. I could picture myself smiling, feeling warm and safe in Stefan's arms. Even though I wasn't moving much, it felt like I was part of something special. There was something magical about how Stefan was treating me, making me feel important. I was having so much fun in that moment that I really didn't want him to stop. It felt exciting and new, and I wished we could keep going forever. I was so caught up in how great it felt that I didn't care how long it took. I just wanted him to continue. So when he suddenly stopped, I felt a wave of disappointment wash over me. I couldn't help but wonder why he had paused, and I hoped he would start again soon. Just when I thought the moment was over, he said something that caught my attention. It's going to come out now, he announced. I was confused and didn't know what he meant. My heart started to race with curiosity. What was he talking about? Was it something else? I leaned in closer, eager to hear what he was going to say next, my mind swirling with questions. Then he explained, this is the hot dog I want you to taste. This is the hot dog I was talking about. I blinked in surprise, trying to understand what he was saying. It was a strange idea, but something about his words made me feel intrigued. My imagination began to run wild, and I could almost picture what he meant. Maybe this was all part of a fun game, something that would make our time together even more exciting. I wanted to know what would happen next. I was completely taken aback when I saw Stefan act so quickly. He suddenly grabbed his reddish package and pushed it right into my mouth. I watched in disbelief as his package was so big that it nearly broke my mouth. It looked like it was alive, twisting and turning, as if it wanted to break free. My heart raced as I realized how intense the situation was becoming. I didn't know what to think or say because I was so surprised by what was happening right in front of me. His package kept writhing, throbbing, and I felt a mix of fear and curiosity. It looked so powerful, almost like it was trying to escape and wreak havoc on everything around it. I was worried that my mouth wouldn't hold up, and I found myself holding my breath. The sight of Stefan's package struggling made me feel nervous, but at the same time I couldn't help but feel a little thrill from the excitement of it all. I had never seen anything like this before, and my mind was racing with thoughts about what could happen next. Stefan jumped with excitement, exclaiming, It's here. It's here. His eyes were closed tight, and he seemed almost like he was waiting for a surprise. I felt my heart begin to race, wondering what was about to happen next. The way he acted made me curious and a little anxious at the same time. I could tell that whatever he was excited about, it was something big, and I was eager to see it unfold. Then, without warning, my mouth reacted to the throbbing of his package. It released a thick, whitish liquid, and it poured out through my mouth. 
Some of it even spilled onto the ground, creating little puddles that glistened in the light. The taste of the sweet liquid was something I had never experienced before. It was so delicious that I found myself wanting more and more. I couldn't believe how something so strange could be so enjoyable. However, just like they say, all good things must come to an end. I felt a little sad knowing that the exciting moment we shared was over, but I was grateful for the experience. When Stefan finished, he looked so relieved, as if a huge weight had been lifted off his shoulder. I was still trying to wrap my mind around everything that had just happened, but he didn't leave me alone for long. Stefan stepped forward and began to help me clean up the mess he made. As we wiped away the spilled venom together, I couldn't help but feel a mix of emotions, surprise, joy, and a bit of confusion about what we had just done. After we cleaned up, Stefan came closer to me. His smile was bright, and he looked genuinely happy. I blinked in surprise still trying to understand what he said. Part of me wanted to laugh at how serious he was about hot dogs, but after our adventure, I felt a strange connection to him. As he walked away, I stood in the kitchen feeling a bit lost. I realized I hadn't even had breakfast yet. What started as a simple morning had turned into something unexpected and exciting. Still, I knew I had shared something special with my nephew. I smiled, remembering how much fun we had, and I couldn't wait to see what would happen next.